Okay, everyone, here's Connor Timmons. Danielle, go ahead. Yep, uh, first up for Connor will be Arif Dean from Mile High Sports. Go ahead, Arif. Hey, Connor, thank you for doing this. My yeah, question no was, uh, you have sort of had a rough couple of years. Obviously, you missed a lot of time playing in the AHL, and now you're back, you're healthy, uh, and you're getting this opportunity to be part of this playoff run. Just walk me through these last couple of years and how great it is to be able to be on this run with the Avalanche. Yeah, it's, it's been kind of a, a tough couple of years. I haven't, haven't had really a lot of opportunities to play a lot of games. So um, anytime I can kind of, kind of be around the rink and get, get extra reps in, with, especially with these guys, is, uh, is great for my development. And it's going uh, to be really cool to be on this run with these guys. Great. Ryan Clark from The Athletic is up next. Go ahead, Ryan. Uh, Connor, I know that you've had a chance to play professionally for a year now, but to be here in camp, how do you feel about everything in the sense of your skating, your defensive work, and not only that, but just kind of the litmus test this has given you? Yeah, I feel uh, pretty comfortable. I think obviously everyone's coming off uh, a pretty long break, so there's, there's good and bad moments for everyone. But uh, I think I've adjusted to the pace as camps went along, and, and I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Uh, great. Up next, Nathan Rudolph from DNVR. Go ahead, Nathan. Hey, Connor. Uh, obviously, you have the playoffs coming up immediately, but with the strange offseason that's coming after, is there any thought to you in using this camp as a showcase to try and make the roster for next season? Um, I think anytime you're around the coaches or, or the GM uh, for the Avalanche, you want to put in a good showing. Um, obviously, they're always evaluating, and uh, for me, I just want to always, always be good out there and uh, continue to develop and, and do my best. Great. Uh, Scott McDonald from Colorado Hockey Now. Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Connor. I mean, as a guy, um, I guess, who, who has a good chance, is widely considered to have a good chance to, uh, you know, make it to the bubble in Edmonton of this team. I mean, what are some of the conversations you might have had or not have had with the, uh, the coaching staff or for anybody in particular? And I guess also just kind of walk me through how this uh, first week has gone for you at camp. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I haven't had a, a ton of discussion with the coaching staff yet. Um, Obviously, I know it's what's expected of me, and um, I just have to go out there every day, work hard, and and uh, and play my best. Um, and uh, yeah, for the first week, it was uh, it was a good week of camp. Obviously, the scrimmages were nice to get some some five on five action. And um, like I said, I, I think I've done a little better as camps went along, and, and kind of got my legs back under me. So it's been good. Uh, Ron Knobenbauer from Avalanche.com. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, Connor, can you just uh, talk about your first season of pro hockey in, in general? How did it go for you? And what maybe surprised you the most from uh, the play with the Eagles this year? Thank you. Yeah, I think overall it was a good year for me. It was definitely a learning experience. Um, I think I really developed defensively. Um, Greg Cronin put in a lot of work with me uh, with my one-on-one -on -one battles and my gap control and my, my defensive zone work. So I think I, I really improved on that. And that was big for me, obviously, up here in the NHL. Everyone, everyone can score, and you have to be able to play defense against everyone. So um, for me to put in that work was, was uh, definitely big for my game. Great. Thank you for the time, Connor. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me.